Do you honestly think that's funny, Jensen? Right. Right, because you're not Ruby. You, I mean, how could you be? You, of course, you are the lovely actress who plays Ruby. <laughs> And I'm, so, I'm all like, well, baby, this is going to be strange because I'm Sam Winchester. And she's like, it's going to be fine. And so we go. It's like during a weekday. And um, it was crowded, but it wasn't like going on a weekend and summer did something. Say, did you say to Jen, baby, this is going to be strange because I'm Sam Winchester. And is that the only time you've said that? And you are uh, in... Jared's house uh, because you two are married. You married fake Ruby? It is not the only time I've said that, and yes, I did say that. Uh, <laughs> and so we go, and we're part of this. We, we take it. <laughs> Come on, go straight across the body, and then your right arm behind you. Oh. And then straight across the body, your left arm oh, behind you. Oh, I got this. Because y'all already used it. Oh, wait. <laughs> what does it look like? Jared likes to tease me because in all of our early pictures. Early still. <laughs> I, I go like this. Blush. <laughs> um, I don't know why I do it, but I think it's a bad, it's not a bad habit, it's just a habit. Um, maybe, maybe I'm trying not, maybe, maybe I'm trying not to smile. Or have any wrinkles. Anyway, I think I just did it in the last post, but he's making fun of me. Um. This is a little, uh, a little funny uh, behind the scenes story. So I was just back there training. I worked out this morning and I was doing pull ups, so I put my ring into my shorts. And I realized right before we were coming to stage that my ring was still on my shorts. Uh, I was in the car, and so there was like a big scramble. I was like, I don't want to go out there and start this rumor mill. I'm like, I'm going to be wearing this ring. So I was just digging through my, my, my dirty clothes. I apologize. Uh, Chris is hurting. Good morning, everyone. Uh, how are you? It's a little warm. How's everybody feeling? Pain. It's okay. You don't need that. Come on. I thought you were off uh, becoming one with the land of some crap. You gotta. Come here. Apparently, uh, pink is for loyalty. <laughs> All right, so what's the pretext? Were we, uh, wedding crashers, huh? We're looking for some kind of siren or what? No, nothing like that. All right, um, so, a little sudden, but life is short, so I'll keep this shorter. I'm in love. And I'm getting married. <laughs> Say something, like, uh, like, congratulations, for example. What? Becky? Dean, I'm so glad you're here. Dude, you have a camel in your backyard. It's an alpaca, dumbass. Ruby? Ruby, right. Yes, 
That one never gets old. <laughs> it was a little too close to home. I remember, uh, so a lot of the stuff that we use in our shows can be reused, you know, there's a couch as part of a hotel or something. They can use it a couple of episodes later, they reupholster it. I remember looking at the Andy Warhol paintings of uh, Jen and me and being like, oh my god, they can never use this again. I want because they're really cool. <laughs> and so I was like, I asked Jerry Warnick, our set designer, I was like, hey dude, y'all aren't ever use these again. Can, can I have them? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then, I, then the episode ended and I took them home and was like, what am I ever going to do with these? <laughs> I can never put them up anywhere. We had a box for charity. But I, I was like, yes, I got them. I want them so bad. And I got home. I was like, I can't possibly put this up. I still have uh, the, the Sam riding a, uh, a horse. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be his headboard. It's going to be his. <laughs> How would you know? That's <laughs> Jim. who plays Ruby. <laughs> she, she did something that she's long been a fan of Gilmore Girls, so yeah. Exactly when. 
I can. I can say it. Yeah, yeah. information. Hey, I told you I was coming clean. Yeah, but now I feel dirty. Okay, well, uh, brain stabbing imagery aside. It was, uh, um, we did this little movie together, uh, called Tenichiro. <laughs> She and I carpooled together, uh, and it was uh, probably the second week of filming. Uh, we were in a car, and, and just a conversation. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I was dating somebody at the time. Uh, it, was, it was kind of a new relationship. We were, and, and it was kind of, it had already fizzled out, which is, that was another thing, too, that I wanted to kind of touch on is, I, I, you know, I, I dated a few people, uh, obviously, prior to, to, uh, to Neil, and, um, and those, you know, there's always that moment where you're like, oh, I really like this person, like, I, I want to I wanna be with this person uh, as much as I can, and, um, but then that feeling eventually kind of fades away, and unfortunately, sometimes there's not enough to sustain a relationship. Um, that, that hasn't happened yet with Neil. Everybody relax! I'm here. Oh, and so close to almost on time. Oh, well, come on. I mean, once I start showing up on time, you'll expect it every day. Not to say that it won't, I'm just saying. <laughs> No, uh, but it was it was in those those carpool, those drives, and those conversations was when I realized that this was uh, this was this was, she was going to be a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm sort of similar. So Jen and I knew each other for several months before we went on our first date, and I, I finally got the courage to ask her to lunch, um, stay for dinner, and chatted. And uh, the next day we went to dinner again or lunch game, whatever. And she's like, you can't tell anybody that we're dating. And I was like, we're dating? <laughs> I mean, she was so... Presumptuous. <laughs> she was so... Uh, it was comforting, because she didn't give to SHITs about my TV show, or how much money I made, or what I looked like, whatever. She's like, Cool, well, just gonna go brag to everybody we're dating. You know, like it was kind of like, damn, girl. Um, and so. Yeah, you were the lucky one in this scenario. <laughs> Hell yes, I still am. Um, so I think I, I think I was, you know, I, for all you fishermen, fishermen out there, that's when she sort of set the hook. And then it's just been a really in job. <laughs> a little bit. It was, it was pretty, once I got to know her, it was pretty quick. I knew she'd be. Uh, She'd be the right girl. Aww. Awesome. That's awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 